Hey guys, Trev Crutchley here today with, and we're back with Fruit Baskets episode 17. I've been looking forward to this episode. We got a lot more of Aris last episode. We got a bit of a flashback, which was super interesting. Like, I thought we were going to get sort of a chilled episode last week, as I said before. And no, we got a really intricate backstory, and I really enjoyed it. I like the story of, like, the gang seeing her like, idols, Terry Roo's mum. And then she meets Terry Roo, who's completely nothing like she expects. Couldn't even believe she was related to mum. Then she met the mum and how much she's changed and grown from what she is. And then we sort of got our iconic dad, sort of backstory there. And I just really want to learn more about it. And I'm glad it's a two part. I think, like, yeah. And I also, some of you guys mentioned in the comments, like comments that weren't in the original anime. So this is all fresh for you as goes as well, unless you read the manga, of course. I'm sort of glad they're sort of exploring this. And it makes me look forward to some more character backstories. I know some of the favourite parts of Fruit Basket so far have been the backstories. I loved, um, is it Momoji? Momoji's. Uh, Toru has a really good backstory. The thing with Toru's backstory so is it's ever evolving because the more you learn about her mum, the more sorry you feel for Toru and then seeing how happy she was with her mum when in flashbacks and like um, stuff like that. Just makes you makes you appreciate moments when you see Toru sort of hide a sadness and think of other people and you think like maybe she's hurting quite a lot inside. When that, if you rewatch the series afterwards, I think when I rewatch it you see that someone's like some of the, I thought about some of the sad moments we've had with Toru and when like she was left alone when the boys left and then they went back for her. And then it, it makes me understand why other characters want to protect so much and care for so much like her friends. And yeah, that's 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 what we're where I think it makes good use of characters' backstories is making it don't feel like filler because it's affecting other characters because we get to know more from him, things like the mum, know more about him, one of a mate. Yeah, I'm just really looking forward. To, anyway, so I was rambling on, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far and I'm getting looking forward to jumping into it. So, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. If you enjoy this, you might enjoy some of the other series I'm doing. One of the series I would say if you love this, check out Given. It's I made this season. I think it deserves way more viewers. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a Shonen AI. I've never watched one before. And I think it's really good. So, yeah, I really recommend that for this season. That's my recommendation for this season. But, yeah, let's jump into this. Yeah, this will be fun. Make her bow down and show respect. Huh? <laughs> 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 Fucking sit down. Fucking girl's brutal. Get back over here. Is she just crapped me. She's a protective gal. I love Teru. <laughs> I've got to admit. Toru returned to one of the characters where I didn't think much of her when I first watched I thought she was quite a basic character, but the more I watch her, I really do love her. Like, yeah. I think she's a really, really good main character, to be fair. She's up there. I think she's probably my second favourite, maybe third favourite character, which I'm surprised, because when I first watched this, I didn't think I was going to like her this much. <laughs> They're great! That tofu she dropped was probably for dinner. I like the moment of peace, it's somber, I'm just hearing Toru in the background. I mean, the home you guys have is it's so foreign Ooh. to me. I never the walls broke this. down for a moment. It feels wrong. I know I don't belong, so I'm basically an outcast, which only makes me more uncomfortable. Thing is, even if I did have something like this. I'd still yell at my dad and tell him to go to hell like I didn't he just wouldn't it react. If my old man... Idiot. No, Chan. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> keeps changing the name of Chan. <laughs> what is it? Are those what I've been missing? Aww. I see characters wall break down. Man, listen to me. Blabbering on about what a sad sack I was back in the day. The point is... It's good. I love her. <laughs> yes, That's great. Outside. Doom, Alone, doom. Obviously. Watch out, badasses over here. Yo, weren't those noodles good? Yes. They just got fucking ignored. Blow us off! You see that? I told you we should have called her out earlier. It's because you took forever taking pics of those pretty boys. That's not my fault. I couldn't get a good angle from where I was standing. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Link with army? What would that even look like? Perhaps it would be best um, if I took care of Bulwell. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> the sad thing is... Or Clifton. I used to be just... Everywhere in Britain, pretty much. Chavs. Chavs everywhere. I wanna... That includes me. I'm so Think wise. So? Then why do adults act like they're so much better than us? <gasps> My sincerest apologies. <laughs> From then on, I went to Toru's house Mate. on the radio. Mum's great. God damn it. Ah, Katsia's Toru's dad's name. He always spoke like that, and she just kind of picked it up. Maybe we get to learn more about that. I'm interested so in that. Much for your help. 
but I don't mind it. It's adorable. You really are a doting parent. I guess it's cute. Before I knew it, I was comfortable in their home. I had no one to blame for that but Toru and Kyoko. Anyway, that's how I started spending so much time with them. Or if I could just have a spin-off series about the mom. Fuck it out. And even started going to school all the time. Because if I went to school... I Imagine if you got to see all this beforehand. And <laughs> then they did the death. That would have been fucking brutal. I'm not saying that's the way you should have went, but that would have been something. First hint, a foreigner. Was there for me. Even when I, I swear this is the first show to have an overly long skirt. Instead of ones that were that right up to the book cheeks. What do you think you're doing bothering her? Hey, hold on. We were only talking. Miss Honda, are you okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Uh, <laughs> Sit down, teacher. To the people around us, we appear a real lesson. Oh, what savages. <laughs> Probably going to go after Toru. Yes, you and Watani are close, right? Like best friends? <gasps> well, I... It would be an honor to be her best friend, so I hope maybe one day I will be. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an airhead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. No way. They can't be friends. They're just too different. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, calm down, you bastards. Maybe it'd be better for her if I wasn't around at all. Yeah, that won't work. Especially with her personality. She might be happier. Hey, you made too many of those, Honda. Nope. This is for Uo chan. <laughs> You can't win. She will always win. God damn it. So adorable. Well, what savages? Terrifying. I want to run so badly, but I can't because. Is the mom going to fly in? This one's on me. Wait, this is such a past. I don't want to live like that anymore. I would be different. Aww. I had to because of her. Come on, get up. How long are you gonna lay there? I think she's had enough. Uh huh? Yes. The mom. She's gonna fly down dramatically kick that. No, she won't. Mate, she looks savage. We'll both fall. Plus, your legs hurt. Oh, a mark on her face. Did she actually fight? Some older girl from your gang dropped by the house tonight. The one with the she got there fast. Fuck it out. She knew what was going to happen, and it, you know, this wasn't so bad. Do you, do you had someone music? kind in the gang looking out for you. Many people have gone through a lot worse trying to get out. You really are a lucky one. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't learn anything till I get hurt. I'm such an idiot. Any messes about our progress, love? One thing I've discovered is that sometimes you can't understand your feelings until you make trouble. And, but then, when you find yourself filthy, you start to long for the very thing you turned away from. You have to know gentleness to feel pain. Wise words from the mom. Just as you only notice the darkness if you have the sun. You can't underestimate either. Because everything has its purpose. Mate, when their mum's like cracking my top five characters in the show, and she's not even, she's deceased. As long as you make sure you recognize that, those mistakes will nourish you and help you grow even stronger. At least, that's my theory. I was determined to make myself better for her. Even if it meant leaving my old life behind. And you succeeded, love. Let's see how different she is now she's older as well. It's a little embarrassing to think about. For a while after that, people picked fights with me. But I came out of things okay. It's really amazing to not be alone. Unfortunately, I never saw Akimoto again. I heard around town that she moved far away. Hmm. Wonder if we get to see her again. School gradually grew on me. I started eighth grade, then later met Hanajima. Kyoko always laughed when we were around. She really liked us. But then, 
One day, all of that changed. Heart a big softy. I loved her. Aww. Hey. Hey, Uo-chan. Uh, yeah? What's up? Well, things are getting a little out of hand back here. It's kind of scary. We already know her backstory. I said in a comment to a comment. She his, her backstory is the ring the movie. I'm well aware. I'm being as gentle as possible. They're fine. Don't mess with us, loser! You're gonna regret underestimating us this whole time! Aren't you done talking? <laughs> Look at my just that fuck's sake. Well, time. It was a blast, really. It was. It was a really good two episodes. Cool Enjoyable. Episode three by fucking hell. Kyoko isn't around anymore. Hell. Salt. Dummy. Hey, sure. progress. I like it. Nice end to the nice, nice big character out there. I like that one. Um, yeah, no, really good episode. I like learning about um, who was who was son. I think yeah, they're really well done. Fast. I think the way they utilize it with the mum as well, getting to know more about the mum, just makes it so much sadder. Like I said, to not repeat myself, but pretty much yeah. No, I think like it just gets <laughs> with the mummy just gets sadder you more and I love how the mum's breaking in she's pre definitely my top I'd say she's like my third favourite like Kia is my first and I'd say two then I'd actually say the mum yeah so either Shigura or Hotori and then maybe then Yuki definitely Yuki and then I, they're my top five so yeah I'd say the mum's already my third favourite she's not even she's a deceased character but I already love her but overall guys I hope you enjoyed this reaction that was a really fun two parter and I really look forward to see some more of oh, this show. I, mean, I really do enjoy it. Like, I enjoy this show, as I say, every single reaction. A shit ton more than I thought I would have. And I'm glad to have you guys along for the journey for that. Anyway, hope to see you next week. Peace.